Welcome back to Devil's Details Diecast Wastelands series. Changed it up a little bit from Gaslands because um, we all know Gaslands is an actual game and the point of it is vehicle uh, warfare. And sometimes when I do these post apocalyptic vehicles, I don't always want to just make them for warfare. Um, I know that's pretty much what's going to happen in the post-apocalyptic world, where we'll probably all be fighting for resources and etc. But sometimes you just want to make a survival vehicle or something along those lines. So while these are not technically going to be Gaslands builds, some may be, but for the majority I'm just going to categorize them as Wastelands. In any event, I have, as you can see, three Dodge Supervans here. Uh, all have been victim to uh, the amalgam that was the Rattle Can Rumble, if you guys seen that on July 4th. So I had uh, all these vans, I had to buy different ones because I needed a red full top. I bought this one first because it had red glass, which is actually this glass, not realizing that it had a full chrome top, so that was a waste. This one, as you can see, had a design that I could not sand out and the more I sanded it the worse the top got so I got rid of that one and again this is the red from this one which obviously doesn't have a full top so I ended up getting this one last that did have full red glass which I used for the rattle can rumble so that left me with these three vans uh, without technically a full one to use other than maybe this one but this is also a plastic body which I don't really want to have to deal with removing all that chrome for a plastic body I could probably sand it and then um, repaint it so I think this one is out I may use the base because it is metal I'm eyeballing these two here for my next wastelands build I have something cool in mind and you know I always try to think outside of the box and uh, I'm going to do that with this one. So stick around and hope you enjoy the build. And if you remember, this is what we started with. Two Dodge Hot Wheels vans in various states of parts, missing parts, mismatched parts, broken wheels, bent wheels, missing tops, etc. And this is what we came up with. And here is Double Decca in all its glory. Again, as I tend to do with these builds, I uh, did not film a lot of it and I just started kind of building. And here it is, Double Decca. Again, like most of these builds I do, I didn't film a lot of it, I just kind of got building and uh, left the camera down. It's very hard for me just to stop in the middle and show you everything that I do. I'd rather just kind of show you the reveal. 
and go over it from there. So as you can see, I did some shocks and springs on this one. They don't actually work. They're just more to take up the space and to make it look a little more realistic. I also did my own axles uh, set up on the bottom. These are just made with uh, a pack of pens that I bought at the dollar store. I just took the springs out. And then uh, inside are actually just painted toothpicks. So that gives you the shocks and the springs. Uh, front end. That little piece right there came from a Jeep. Hot Wheels Jeep, I believe, or maybe a Matchbox Jeep. It's got the winch, obviously. Gotta have a skull if it's gas lands or waste lands. Made a little flag on the back out of styrene and some uh, some styrene tube and some styrene that I just cut and bent into a wavy pattern. This would be an access ladder, of course. Uh, we have to put our imagination caps on and imagine that this is a cloth top or a working top that'll maybe you know fold up to allow the people inside the actual driving and everything is done on the bottom top shell is kind of more like a an armor if you will and the back is just pretty plain i grabbed that bar front bar from a uh humvee like a jada toys humvee and uh, this is a tailgate from some random matchbox or Hot Wheels pickup truck. A couple of decals, a little uh, detailing on everything. And there we have the double deca. Hope you like what we came up with, and we'll see you on the next time. And as with all my Wastelands or Gaslands builds, this will be available on eBay. Uh, link will be down in the description. Thanks.